Assalamualaikum, very good morning. Uh, now we want to demonstrate how to analyze this data to create a uh, trip generation model. So the first step we want to see the correlation between all variables. So we we want to create uh, a matrix of uh, correlation. So you just click this data and data analysis here. You choose correlation and click OK. So the input ring is here all this thing all the data involved and the output rings we just can put anywhere here and click OK so now uh, we have this correlation matrix you can see uh, uh, column number 5 this one daily production is highly correlated to all variable except column number 4 number of workers uh, uh, so this one uh, this one uh, this one see all all this one I put the color to uh, change to rates uh, this one highly correlated except this one but uh, you can see this one between car ownership uh, column number one yeah, and number two yeah, number one and number two this one this one also highly correlated so these two variable we can uh, take out one 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 of it hmm? this one uh, so either car ownership or household income we can take out uh, uh, how since uh, household income very difficult to to get but ownership is much easier to calculate uh, or in the future better we use this one household income because in the future uh, the household income is not uh, maybe maybe a uh, 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 correlation between household income and car ownership be become different if the car price or the car policy policies change so we can take household income only for uh, this analysis so the second step uh, is uh, uh, regress analysis again we click data and data analysis so we choose uh, correl correl uh, regression analysis eh? uh, this one regression analysis so input y this is y the daily production and the x strings uh, we take out car ownership we just take this one uh, since uh, the uh, number of workers is not uh, highly correlated which is this two only household income and number of houses we take into the into account in our modeling uh, process so and then the output rings we can put here output rings and we just take okay so now uh, this is the uh, output uh, as you can see here the R squared for the whole regression is very good but the intercept can see the intercept this the the start the intercept and the x1 variable yeah, x1 variable that means the household income household income uh, the yeah, uh, the uh, uh, t statistics is very low yeah? so actually uh, this intercept and and the uh, uh, household income we can take out uh, from uh, the model so we can rerun the model now uh, rerun the model now is data analysis so we we do it again uh, but y is still the same but the x strings we just take this one only uh, only this column and remember the intercept also is not significant so we can put uh, zero where is it in standard assessor output range uh, yeah this constant we put zero yeah and then we could click here so so this is the new output you can see here uh, uh, the R squared still very high now we have only one variable uh, significant a uh, significant uh, the intercept zero so now we have only uh, we can write something here the production daily production equal to uh, equal to this one yeah, mat here this one multiply by the house uh, whole uh, household uh, number number so now we have very simple uh, uh, model very simple model uh, for this regression analysis okay uh, thank you very much